Hello, my name is Steve, and I'm the guy that does a lot of anchor testing, and I use this sailboat, Panope. Now, several of you folks have asked me for details on how my mast tabernacle system works. A tabernacle is just another name for a hinge, and what this hinge does is allow me to lower my mast or raise it without the use of a crane. I don't, I don't have to hire anyone. I can just do it all, all myself. So most tabernacles are built differently than this one. Uh, typically, the lower portion of a tabernacle will be sort of a box shape. Um, I, I chose to do things a little different. I simply sliced a, a hunk of pipe at, at that angle that you can see there, in an, and in effect, I've created a scarf joint. Uh, the, the, the mast is, is bolted together with those long bolts that you saw passing through, and you'll see shortly, when, when I start to lower the mast down, you'll, you'll notice that I have, I've welded in heavy plate kind of closing off the, those, those oblong holes that resulted after the slices. It means those bolts, they actually pass through four skins, uh, two skins, if you will, per section. Here I'm going to drive out the last of the bolts. You saw I got the four-stay uh, temporarily rigged with a four-to-one block and tackle, and I've got tension back on it, so now I can drive out that last lower bolt. The upper bolt, the fourth one, is it's, it's actually all installed horizontally and acts as the hinge, and you can see that hinge bolt is just below the, the, the bolt I'm installing just now to, to affix the gin pole. Anyway, here we'll get things started downward. I've got the, the lead of my tackle there, a couple wraps around the drum of my windlass. And to reverse this process, I just simply crank the windlass with one hand and tail the, tail the, the line with the other, and it, it's really not much effort at all. There is a tremendous amount of force on that tackle system. I would say that there's at least a thousand pounds of, of pressure. It's quite a heavy mast. It's made out of Schedule 40 water pipe uh, aluminum, and it, the wall thickness is a, is a little more than a quarter inch. So it's a, a fairly heavy mast for this size of a boat. But as you can tell, there's not a lot of rigging. It only has two shrouds, uh, one shroud per side and a forestay. There's no backstay, um, no spreaders, obviously. Uh, so it's it's a pretty simple, simple rig. Um, but th there is the penalty that it is a bit heavier, I suppose, than a, a typical uh, modern rig with, with multiple shrouds and spreaders. So now you can see in the lower part of the tabernacle, you can see that plate that I welded in there. It's a flat plate, and it's actually three-eighths of an inch thick. Here's a look at the top of the gin pole and my tackle. There's the turns around the windlass drum. You can see I welded those discs. That's so that the flat... The flats of the bolt head and nut will land on something something flat. Here I'll show you how my shrouds and force stay attach up at the upper end. They're just simply loops that were nitro pressed in in place. It's all these these uh, shrouds uh, are served and parceled. It's all very simple. You can also see that I don't have any internal halyards. All the blocks are, are just shackled onto tabs external to the mast. I do not have lights or antennas either. Everything's very simple. So look at my shroud turnbuckles and chain plates. The chain plates are a stack of aluminum totaling of one inch thick. It's all welded heavily. This is an aluminum boat. Here's a look at Panope under sail in some light air conditions. Notice that the mainsail luff is just laced to the mast, so that means there is no mast track or sail slugs. 
the jib sheets, they don't use a sail track. They're just lashed to the handrail, and they, they can be moved as different sails or or a trim trim is needed. I, I've been running the main loose-footed lately. I think I like that a little better than, than lashing to the boom. I don't use any sailing winches whatsoever on board. None, no halyard winches, no sheet winches. It's all just... Uh, blocks and tackle for a mechanical advantage. I do have a topping lift and lazy jacks and the main halyard is a two-part. There are two, two halyards, a peak and throat halyard. There's no downhaul, there's no outhaul, no boom vang, no main sheet traveler, and uh, once again no spreaders so that means there's no lower shrouds, just, just a single shroud per side. Now I've got things reefed down. This is a windier day, maybe 25 knots. These gaff mains, um, they're, they're, they're a low aspect ratio and, and fairly large area. And it kind of means that most gaffers don't really need to run a spinnaker. And therefore, we don't have a spinnaker pole. So yet another, another thing that makes it simple. I would normally tie the bunt of that sail, but I'm just day sailing here. So I'm just letting it flap. Panape's hull, deck, and forward cabin trunk are all a stock design by Tom Colvin called Sogeen Witch. The rig, pilot house, interior, and virtually every piece of metal sticking up from the deck, like the handrails and all, all the sailing hardware tanks, all that is my own one-off design. I hope I answered all your questions about Panape's rig. If I missed anything, go ahead and leave questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll be seeing you soon with more anchor testing. So long.